What's going on everyone? This is Nate, Tiny Hilltop Food Forest. So I've been dealing with um, some setbacks here early in the season. If you've been following my channel, following along, you know that the main one is kind of getting this greenhouse ready for my chickens that are coming this week. They're shipping Monday, so I'll probably have them Thursday at the latest, probably, probably Wednesday. I love my greenhouse. I, I love how it turned out. I like how I have a little more room on the sides to plant and how my roof, the steep roof, allows the snow to shed in my environment. But I feel like I made a really uninformed choice with the white PVC. And I feel like I'm going to be chasing that decision with more bad decisions moving forward. I don't think it'd be as huge of a deal if I didn't have sensitivities because I would just slap a, a coat of latex paint on it and be done with it. But because I don't want to be around that, I used some tape. And the more I thought about it, the it just didn't sit well with me using that tape. It is UV protected, so I think it'll hold up in the summer just fine. But I think that the cold temperatures up here, you know, the negative 20s, real temp, Fahrenheit, are going to break it down. So I have a feeling that every spring I'm going to be doing this, taking the plastic off, putting the tape up. And I don't know how long the tape is actually going to protect the UVC. I'm going to be chasing that bad decision, doing a lot of upkeep, buying a lot of products that I don't want to buy, like tape and more PVC. And at the end of the day, I think it's still going to deteriorate. The more I thought about it, um, it just felt like I needed to correct that. I needed to cut my losses and just correct it and, and do it right and be done with it. I'm actually going to rip this whole greenhouse down and replace it with a hoop house. I'm going to take the PVC, I'm going to put it on Craigslist for free, I'll give it to someone that wants a, a greenhouse um, that I can put latex paint on so it'll be around for a while. The, but the more I thought about it, this just made the most sense to me and there are a few reasons for that. The first one being time frame. I can put this hoop house up in time for my chickens to come this week and not have to worry about getting the PVC out of the soil just yet. I can do that at a later date once the soil thaws and it'll be easier, I'll just, you know, hit it a few times, it'll come out. Another reason is I want to overwinter my chickens in here. Having to take everything off and replace the tape adds a, adds a lot of work and a pretty long step between taking the chickens out and planting that I just don't want to deal with every spring. Uh, especially with the short growing season. You know, every day matters this early. And lastly, I'm going to build a 40-foot hoop house. You know, I've, I've talked about it in a few videos, and I'm building that out of metal, uh, metal fence posts as well. And those fence posts are about $13.50 a post. But if you buy them in bulk, you get them for $9, which is a pretty significant savings. And I wouldn't hit that bulk price if I decided to do this greenhouse at a later date. Because I already hit that bulk price with my hoop house, my 40 footer, it made it a little easier to decide to do this one. I'm going to need 10, 10 posts to do this um, because I can space them a little farther with it being metal. So I need 10 posts, so it's 90 bucks, where it'd be 140 or 100, 130 without that bulk discount. So the more I thought about it, I thought it'd be worth $100 just to be done with it have it built once, not have to deal with it in the spring, not have to move my chickens all over, and be able to plant a lot earlier. And then at the end of the day, I thought in four years, I'd probably have to replace this PVC with anyway, and then I'm deciding between gray PVC and metal again, and I want to try to create a food forest and grow, and I want it as low impact as possible. So buying PVC and buying tape is just not things that I want to do a lot. That's where I'm at with everything involving the greenhouse and getting that going for the spring. It's not easy for me to admit that I made the wrong decision in using the white PVC as opposed to the gray PVC, but I figure it's gonna be easier in the long run to just cut my losses and, and move forward using these poles to create a hoop house. I'm still really new to this whole self-sufficiency growing my own food game. I'm not even at my one year anniversary of planting my first seed. So probably won't be my last mistake. I've always been a better adapter than planner. So hopefully I realize them early, fix them and learn from them and don't make the same ones twice. But that's everything I have out here. Uh, I'm gonna take you into my grow room and show you a few things that I'm dealing with down there. I'm down in my grow room now where I've been dealing with an issue uh, and that issue is that the seedlings I initially planted went leggy. I have LED full spectrum grow lights. When I initially planted, 
I had them at about 18 inches because everything I read said LED should be about 18 to 24 inches to start your seeds. When my plants went leggy, I called the manufacturer, I told them what was going on, and they said that because it is a full spectrum, that the lights need to be at least three foot away from the seedlings, if not farther. It doesn't really make sense to me, but I went with it. As you can see, I moved them pretty high up, and it seems to be working. This is the first round of celery I planted went leggy, and the next two rounds don't seem to be having that same issue. I raised it up just after the second round germinated, so I'm hoping I got it in time. Also, another thing I did was I put a fan on it on a timer as well, so the fan's blowing on it the same time the lights are to help promote root growth. Another thing I did, moving forward, I'm gonna start putting worm castings in the, in the seed starting mix that I have and in hopes of getting the roots a little more nutrients so they, they get a little more dense. I need to get one more light, but I'm slightly hesitant, or I am hesitant because I wanna make sure that they are working for what I'm trying to do before I invest in another one. I have a feeling these will work because like I said, the celery seems to have uh, made a turnaround once I raised it up, but I won't know for probably another couple weeks but anyway, so that's what I'm working on down here. I'll keep you updated in videos to come. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I always appreciate it. Take it easy. You know, be good. Be weird. Have a good one.